Oh, hello again, and welcome back to my channel. Today, it's time for a May monthly spread, and I haven't done a monthly spread in so long, so I'm really excited to get into it and show you how I would plan my month out. So because I hate the hourly and the horizontal colors so much, I normally would use these stickers that I'm starting to make every month to cover up the top part so it can look more like the vertical colors. But because May is green and May in the vertical is also green, I'm actually not going to use these. I still might use the Sunday through Saturday cover-ups, but I'm actually not gonna use these top stickers just because it's the same color. But this is the monthly kit that we sell in our shop. So it has this little like mini monthly kit and those stickers. And I'm gonna use a lot of these as well as a couple other just May monthly, weekly colors, and some other decorative stuff. But let's get into this and I'll show you guys how I do it. So let's cover up the days of the week first. I think it'll really help the look and feel of the spread to have the pink involved. Plus I love this font so much that any excuse to use it and I'm all over it. I used to use the side note section for bills, but I don't really do that anymore. I kind of just scatter the bills throughout the weeks and everything, but this is a good place to write goals or as I said, bills or anything that you are doing throughout the entire month, like projects and stuff for work. This would be an excellent place to write all of that, but I actually don't really use mine very much. So let's add in birthdays first, because there's quite a few. I'm gonna use some of the heart labels on the monthly kit to write in about the subscriptions. The July sub goes live on the 1st. So it's a very busy day with birthdays and such. And the June sub is officially like out in the mail to people no later than the 5th. So I have my bridal shower at the Bendas on the 7th, but the Tulip Festival in Holland runs from the 7th to the 14th, and I really wanted to note that whole period of time. And a great way to do that in your monthly view is with washi. And because it's not a huge important thing that I like have to track like a vacation, I'm gonna use some of our really super thin washi. A lot of it's sold out if you go to the website, but we will be getting more back in stock, but for now, I'm gonna just use this one and it's the pink striped one. So I'm gonna start it from the 7th and run it all the way to the 14th. Using the thin washi like this is a really great way to denote this sort of stuff without having to take up tons of space. But if you are traveling, like I said, I would recommend using a larger washi tape or something that stands out a little bit more if things happen more frequently throughout your monthly views. But washi tape is such a great way to utilize your monthly view to show like spans of time happening. So I definitely recommend using washi tape if you can, or it works for whatever you're using your monthly view for. For Saturday, I'm going to use one of these half boxes, bridal shower. And then I have a bunch of different wedding-esque stickers. I have these perfect papery ring ones, some Let's Planet florals, and this Willow Fields floral that I really like to use for birth or wedding related things. It's very our color scheme, fall navies and whites and stuff. So I really like this one, but I think I might do like a combination of everything. Let's use this little pink heart and one of these rings. Yeah, I think that's good. I don't want to overdo it. On the 14th, I'm actually going to the Tulip Festival with some of my sorority sisters. So definitely going to use this half box to write Tulip Festival. And then I'm gonna add one of these one orange snowflake like summery spring looking stickers. I think I'll do this little lantern sticker and then add in maybe a hot air balloon. And of course a flower. You can't have a tulip festival without a flower. So we're having a garage sale on the Thursday and Friday in May. So this is a great opportunity to use a thicker roll of washi tape. We are going to a wedding on the 21st. So that's another great opportunity for a half box. Or actually, I think I might just use one of these labels to mix up that sidebar. It's get, or that like Saturdays, getting very half box heavy, so let's mix things up. I'm using the May Mini Weekly Kit for this, and I'm actually gonna steal one of the half boxes 
from the monthly kit because they will fit perfectly. So let's use this polka dot one and then put the label on top of it and then add in some more decorative stickers. Actually, I should center this. Eh, it, it's, it's staying there. It seems pretty firm to that spot. So let's just leave that there and throw in something like this to kind of cover up my little mistake. Sometimes stickers are like, nope, I'm actually, I'm gonna just stay here now and you're kind of screwed. So I'm gonna add these decorative boxes throughout the spread while I'm thinking about it, just to give the whole spread a little more texture and stuff going on. On the 25th, I have my first dress fitting. So of course, half box time or actually appointment label time. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Everything from the monthly kit fits perfectly in the spread, but some of the other stickers I'm using from the weekly kit are going to be a little bit different sized. So just so you guys know, and then I'm gonna add in some payday stickers to appropriate locations. We have a mortgage payment on the first of the next month, but since it shows up in this spread, I think I'll just add another bills due sticker down there. And then I'm gonna add these trash can stickers on the days of the week that we have, what am I trying to say? That we have recycling. So I'm gonna look back into April. And the last one was the 25th. So the second we won't, and the ninth we will and so on and so forth. That way I can remember which days are recycling so I don't look like a neighborhood noob and put out my recycling when it's not ready for recycling. So those were all of the actual sticky notes for the spread. So usually I would just leave it like this and add things in as the month went along just to keep things simple and kind of fill in things as we go. This is what April looks like so far. I really like how it looks and I embraced the April colors and tried my best to make it happen. So I will add photos and things throughout the month, but let's add some one orange snowflake decorative stickers in because I think this sticker sheet looks really good with this spread. So we'll just add a couple more in and then call it good. So I'm gonna leave it there just so I have plenty of space to add things in as the month goes along. I really like doing that. I find journaling slash planning the perfect combination for me. So I definitely like adding stuff in after the fact. But that is it for my monthly view plan with me. Let me know in the comments below how you guys use your monthly view. I'm always trying to find better ways to use it and make it worthwhile. But that's gonna be it for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you love Plan With Me's, all types of Plan With Me's. And don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.